Okay, this is the Game is On 100 here with the video, and this video is going to be my SummerSlam thoughts. Uh, let's get started. Um, this edition of SummerSlam was a pretty good pay per view. I highly enjoyed this pay per view. Um, for the most part, everything was lived up to my uh, expectations for this pay per view. The last match was simply outstanding between Cena and Brian. That was an excellent match. Um, it was a little different than I thought what was going to happen, but I knew at the tail end, I knew Randy Orton was going to be the WWE champion, leaving SummerSlam as a champion. I knew Cena was going to lose the belt due to the fact that uh, Cena did suffer the injury, and now Cena's going to be taking the needed time off like he deserves. He can uh, get uh, time off like he needs, and he can uh, come back. Um, in due time, if there's several weeks, he's going to be out. That'd be fine. Um, at least the uh, title picture will be clearer. It looks like Daniel Bryan is going to be chasing Randy Orton. I figured that would be the best scenario is for Bryan to chase after the WWE title against now the heel Randy Orton. Um, Randy Orton heel turn is finally complete. Um, it was a uh, shock that they went with the uh, Triple H. Uh, He'll turn as well, that Triple H turned on Daniel Bryan and let Randy Orton beat him for the WWE Championship. I didn't think that was going to happen, but the WWE decided to swerve everybody because there were reports that uh, uh, there was going to be uh, something that were going to happen at SummerSlam to continue the McMahon-Triple H storyline. Um, so is this going to be that... Uh, Triple H is going to be now with the heel Randy Orton and Vince McMahon is going to be the the this man is going to be the face in all this. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen, but we'll find out on Raw uh, what will happen. Um, as far as the matches goes, um, I knew Bray Wyatt was going to beat Kane because Kane was going to be filming his See No Evil 2 movie. So this is a good way for them to take Kane out as well to. He's going to be taking time off to film the movie, so we'll see Kane in about uh, maybe two, three months or so, how long and whatever it takes for him to film that movie. Um, the other match, uh, Rhodes and uh, Sandow, it was an okay match. Uh, Rhodes got the win. I was thinking Sandow should have won, but uh, that's fine by me. They wanted Cody Rhodes to win. That's fine. Because normally the WWE's logic, when you hold the money in the bank briefcase, you normally would lose quite often. If you have that briefcase before you cash it in. So I figured that was the logical route they would have uh, uh, Rhodes win the match. But I figured Damien Sandow should have won it. But to continue the food feud even further. But... Uh, We'll see what happens with that. Uh, Alberto Del Rio Christian World Heavyweight Championship match. Uh, I knew there was uh, Del Rio was going to retain his belt. I knew that uh, Christian has was a long shot to win. Uh, my prediction for that was correct. I knew Del Rio was going to retain the title. Um, the Divas match of uh, Natalia and Brie Bella. Na Natalia gets to win. It was just a throwaway match leading up into the. Uh, Brock Lesnar, CM Punk match. That was a very good match. Punk gave it everything that he had, but in the end, Brock Lesnar uh, found a way to win. Uh, Brock Lesnar now has a winning record now since he's uh, coming back from WWE. Now, I knew Brock Lesnar was going to probably win this match because Brock Lesnar needed to win this match. Um, at the WWE, if they're going to be doing this whole thing with the Punk uh Scenario where Punk's going to try to get his his, his revenge on Paul Heyman. Um, it's going to be continuing. So we'll see if there's going to be a rematch with uh, CM Punk and Lesnar. There's speculation that there's going to probably be a rematch in the future. But uh, we'll see. With that, I don't think this match is uh, that feud is going to end quite yet. They can get a little bit more out of this. Um, the Dolph Ziggler, Caitlyn, AJ, Biggie, Langston match. I figured that uh, Ziggler and Caitlyn would win. I figured they would win it. They did. That was obvious finish. And I was a surprise for the main event. I didn't think Daniel Bryan was going to be clean. Johnson, the 1-2-3. I thought there was going to be a screwy finish. 
but there wasn't a screwing finish but until the tail end with the with the tail end with Randy Orton cashing in his Money in the Bait briefcase. I knew something was up when Randy Orton was, uh, when he came down after Brian was celebrating with the belt. There were streamers and everything and fireworks and that. And uh, then Daniel Bryan, uh, not Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton comes down tempting to cash in his Money in the Bray. He walks walks away then Triple H came close I knew something was up then Triple H pedigrees Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton cashes in Randy Orton is the WWE champion I figured that uh, Randy Orton was going to cash in tonight I figured that um, with that uh, Cena is now going to be taking time off like he needs to uh, recover from his uh, arm surgery and uh, the WWE keeps Cena out for a while that'd be uh, fine um, he needs to rest but you know the WWE, if the ratings start uh, dipping in the lower, then Cena's going to be coming back sooner. It's total obvious. Cena equals ratings. Well, anyways, uh, those are my thoughts on the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Um, I gave it a gave it a good pay-per-view. It was an enjoyable pay-per-view. I knew that finish was going to be happening with Randy Orton was going to end up being the WWE champion. It's better. That way to have Daniel Bryan chase Randy Orton for the championship. So we'll see where that goes. Anyways, this is the Game is on 100. I am out. Later.